deep dish pizza. Chicago's famous deep dish pizza. Come on, Dad. Famous. Hi, we're the Care Kids. Our parents are crazy. They want to take us on a year-long trip. They call it an empathy expedition. We're traveling the states to discover what makes us united. 50 states in 52 weeks. And I saw you. Chicago has probably been well this park is really fun. Um, My favorite thing about Chicago so far was probably the train ride. I can't wait for the pizza. You oh, want it? I can't wait for the pizza. Pizza. Deep dish pizza, Chicago's famous deep dish pizza. Come on, Dad. Famous. How is the Chicago deep dish? Hey, sir. This is the best pizza. Can we the entire pizza hard? So far. This is the best this is the best cheese bread I've ever had. Super good. We're waiting for the music to start. Music? They're having music here? Yeah. There's speakers Beethoven, everywhere. Chicago was really busy. My favorite part about it was probably the water fountain. So it was just big walls covered in like glass panels and had projectors of guys' faces on them. There's a big hole in the middle, and I was wondering, what is that for? And then the face on the wall, it went like a, puck, a puckering position, like, and water went, boom! We also saw our friends in Chicago, and they got bought us tickets for the air show. In order to demonstrate the dirty, slow speed handling characteristics of the Boeing F-A-18, Commander Bernanke has called for the extension of the landing gear and tail hooks by the four Batman pilots. As they execute a maneuver performed by no other jet demonstration team in the world today, ladies and gentlemen, the Blue Angel Diamond Dirty Loop. <laughs> The air show was so cool because we were right on the beach. I saw like the whole beach was loaded with people. The airplanes were, I'm not kidding, 30, 40 feet above us. 
And at one point, I got super scared because one of them flew right behind us and it was so loud. I literally like duck and cover. I didn't know that airplanes could really fly that low. Like. shadowed were Irish Catholics and they had 10 children, 11 children. One, two, three. My name is Patrick Severance. My name is Ava Severance. John Severance. Monica. Johnny. Uh, Justin Patrick Severance. Deanna. David Severance. I'm Kathy Severance and I am the mother of these 11 beautiful children. This is the last. This is the first. They have been a great, great blessing. I love folk music and I think it's a family that we play music together, we can really bond together in my opinion. I went to a cafe and some kids came in and played Irish music and they were two sets of siblings, a boy and a girl and a boy and a girl. And I just fell in love with the music and thought that this would be great if my kids did this too. So I took my kids to an Irish concert and put them in the front row and asked them if they loved the music afterwards. And they said, oh my gosh, yeah, that was so great. And then what they didn't know is I had already set up lessons for them. Um, so I was just kind of, kind of choreographed the whole thing. Irish music is, is a tradition and it's really passed on by people coming together and playing together, right? So our kids actually have been very lucky to inherit the Chicago Irish music tradition. And now they're, my kids are teaching a whole young set of kids. Every Wednesday there's like 40 kids here learning Irish music and our kids and their friends are teaching them, so. Going to Ireland has really, I think, influence just so much of the way that we think or the way that we treat people or the way that we live. Um, we love Irish people. They're very personable. They're very like, conversational and they're witty. The culture of Ireland is very kind of like cozy and indoor. It seems that places with bad weather usually have really good culture because they're forced to spend time with each other, be indoors and like think of fun things to do or spend their time well. When these kids were learning, they were learning from people from Ireland, people in their 40s, 50s, 60s. They would go to bars and they would they would learn with like hippies and commies and people smoking cigarettes. Music is very neutral. So and it and it's enjoyable. It's it lifts the spirits and so people from any background can come together to uh, enjoy music together, especially when people are jumping around and dancing. Well, we have an Irish drum called a baron. It's actually originally from India, uh, but it came to Ireland. Uh, and so the Irish invented their own style of playing, and you use a stick in one hand. In the Indian style, you play just with your hand. But in the Irish style, you hold the stick like this, and you play on the drum. We make a stick with a bunch of skewers so they hit, hit together a lot and make kind of a, um, just a different type of sound. Here you go, so, here, I, don't, I don't actually play this, but <laughs> Justin plays it. Concertinas have a more, the way that the type of reeds that they tend to have are different than 
the bigger accordions. The way it works, these buttons, when I press a button, you can see this little valve open. So each of these buttons, there's 15 on each side. If you press or push um, with one key and then you reverse and you pull, it's a different note. So you have all of these keys and then if you push or if you pull, they're even different beyond that. So sounds like this. Ireland is one of my favorite places in the world. Uh, I went there three times in 2006, um, in 2008, in 2012. So all three were to compete in the World Championships of Irish Music. We formed the band in the spring of 2012. We competed um, in, at the end of May. Um, in 2012, and we won the Midwest competition for Irish uh, bands. We played in Chicago, we won, um, and we advanced to the Ireland competition. When we're in these competitions, we have um, a name for our band. In 2008, we were Ashling Kjol, and then in 2012, we were Kiltori Kilcha which means musicians of the woods. And a lot of other groups had that word Kiltori in their names as well, because it means musicians. Naturally, it's going to be in a lot of people's names. So we, <laughs> when they were announcing the, the places, third place, we we're just hearing all these kind of Irish names flying around. And after they had announced third place, and second place, we had kind of um, accepted that we hadn't won. And so we were almost a little bit checked out. So we almost weren't exactly paying attention when they announced the first place winner. And so it goes over the speaker in first place, Kiltori Kulcha. And there was dead silence in the whole room. We didn't recognize our name. We didn't recognize for a few moments that that was us. And so there's about five seconds of dead silence in the room, and then one of the guys, Jer Willis, in our band, he just goes, Oh my gosh, that's us! And then everyone erupted the whole, we all jumped up screaming and celebrating, and everyone else is cheering. Like every piano is the same scale, right? There's different instruments that are in different scales, but in every country, in every walk of life, in every age, some people young, some people old, can, can they play the same instrument, right? And so they're, that's something that we all can agree on, right? You have the young kids playing with the old kids. You have people playing together from different political persuasions, right? Um, different countries, and everybody can play what they call the common session tunes, so they can all get get together and create friendships. Just tell me about it. Oh. You like did an Irish jig or something? Yeah, just downstairs for one second. All the kids wanted me to do it, an Irish dance just because I knew one. So, what did it look like? <laughs> oh, come on. Just show no, me the Irish jig. no. Everybody knows you did it already. No.